make yourself all nice and cosy in your bed and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, then slowly and gently let the breath out. Again, deep breath in, then slowly and gently let that breath out. One more time, deep breath in and slowly and gently let the breath out and just relax. Now imagine yourself surrounded by a beautiful white light, a light so bright, so pure and so powerful and it's a light of protection and peace just for you. Breathe in this white light. Feel it as it enters your body completely, making you feel all warm and so very safe. Now imagine yourself sitting on a very large rock. Half of it is on a beautiful sandy beach, but the other half is in the deep blue ocean. You can hear the gentle lapping of the ocean waves as they roll up and onto the rock you are sitting on. Take a deep breath and breathe in the fresh ocean air. It feels so peaceful here. And the sun is high in the sky with just a few small fluffy clouds drifting by. And you can see shapes. You can see the shapes they make as they drift on by. And you feel very peaceful sitting on your rock, listening to the sounds of the waves. And it makes you smile with happiness. But as you sit there, you notice movement in the water below you. And you wonder, hmm, what is it, you think to yourself. You see the water moving in a strange way. And there are little bubbles forming too. What on earth could it be? As you watch the swirling movement of the water, a head pops up with very long flowing blonde hair. And you see it's a young girl who looks just about your age. She gives you a big grin and her blue eyes sparkle with fun. She tells you her name is Imogen and she is a mermaid. Wow, a mermaid. She gently lifts her tail out of the water for you to see. Oh my, she really is a mermaid. So you introduce yourself to her and you tell her your name. She is very pleased to meet you, she says. She says she's never met a land walker before. Some of the older mermaids have this is her first time. Puzzled, you wonder what a land walker is, so you ask her. She tells you a land walker to all mermaids are human beings. They walk on the land, whereas mermaids can't. Hmm, this makes sense to you now. Imogen tells you that she is a very special mermaid. A mermaid very few humans have ever seen. She is a flying mermaid, which means that not only can she swim under the sea, she can also fly like a bird. Oh my goodness me, a flying mermaid. Imogen asks you if you would like to see her wings. Well, of course you would. Imogen raises herself up and the top half of her body is free from the water. And as you watch, very slowly and gently, wings start to sprout out of her back. You watch as the glorious wings begin to spread out around her. Incandescent, the colours are so beautiful. Her wings are like beautiful rainbows, and they are dazzling in the sunlight. They shimmer and they shine with the most beautiful colours you have ever seen. 
Can you see them? Imogen asks you if you would like to fly with her up into the clouds. <laughs> Obviously you say yes. She tells you to climb up on her back and hold on tight. So you do. And you give a little laugh because your feet are still dangling in the water. Imogen raises herself up even higher and her wings spread out even further still. Then she begins to gently flap her wings and as she does, you see that you and she are already out of the water and you both rise higher and higher and you are now flying with Imogen. How exciting! Her wings move faster and you go higher and before you know it, you are high in the beautiful blue sky. There are fluffy white clouds everywhere. You've never seen clouds up close before. They look like little balls of mist. Well, some of them are little and some of them are very big. And they look so soft too. Imogen tells you that she can if she wants, fly to the stars. But today, she's just flying in and out of the clouds, making shapes and having fun with you. She says that if you come back another time, maybe she will take you to the stars and back. Now that really would be amazing. So you promise to yourself that you will definitely come back here again. You really would like to see the stars. As you look around, you can see for miles and miles and miles. It truly is amazing up in the sky. The things you can see, the wonderful sensations you can feel. You can feel the wind on your face. You can feel it rushing through your hair. You can feel your clothes blowing in the wind too. It feels truly exhilarating. And astonishingly, you pass a flying unicorn. And what's more, you recognise her. It's the princess unicorn. She gives you a beautiful smile and she waves to you as she travels back to Unicornia. And you wonder where she's been. But for now, spend a little while flying with Imogen as you hold on to her tightly. Where will she take you? What will you see? Enjoy flying high up in the sky with Imogen.
now it's time for you to return back to the rock. Imogen swoops down and back into the sea so quickly. You climb back onto your rock and you watch as Imogen's beautiful rainbow wings fold back into her body. Wow, what an amazing experience you've just had. Where did you go with Imogen? What did you see? You will always remember this time with her because you had so much fun flying with her. Oh, but you feel so happy now. So at peace, so calm. You just feel like giving a huge hug to everyone in the whole wide world. Just before Imogen leaves, she gifts you your very own wings with her very, very special mermaid magic. But you can only use them when you come back to see Imogen. Imogen tells you that you are a very special person. She tells you that you have so much love inside you that you need to share it with the world. She also tells you you are the kindest and most beautiful land walker she has ever seen. And she is so very, very happy that you are her friend. Imogen moves further out into the water now and you turn to look at her and she is waving to you with her tail in the air. You give a great big grin and wave back to her as she jumps up into the air and then suddenly dives deep under the water. Wow! What an adventure! What an amazing creature! And she is your friend. But just remember, you can come back here to speak to your mermaid friend anytime. You can fly with her too, as you now have your own very special rainbow wings. And with Imogen, you are always safe. You are always loved. And you are always protected. But now it's time to come home and you find yourself back in your very own bed. And you're so comfortable that you find yourself starting to drift just a little into dreaming and sleeping. Your eyes are closed and your body is feeling very heavy now, but you feel so happy and content. So for now, just rest. Have a good, peaceful night's rest. And when you wake in the morning, you will feel so refreshed, so renewed, so alert and so very, very happy. Now imagine you are in a lush green field filled with flowers dotted all around you. And you can smell how fresh the grass is. Can you smell it? You can smell the aroma of the beautiful flowers too. Can you smell it? It smells so wonderful. Up ahead of you, you see a spiral staircase and it's going upwards towards the sky. How interesting. You wonder where it goes. So you decide to go and have a look and see. You begin to climb the staircase. And as you stand on each step, it lights up with lots and lots of little fairy lights. And they twinkle so brightly. It's mesmerising. As you continue upwards, you look around you and see the field below you. And you see the trees in the distance. You can even see mountains that are so far away. They look really small, but you know that they are not. You reach the top of the stairs and to your absolute amazement, you stare onto what looks like jelly. Very soft and very wobbly jelly. 
wow. You can walk on the jelly, because although it's soft, it's also very firm for your feet. So you try it, you tap your foot around, and you only sink into it a little bit. And this makes you laugh out loud. It's like walking with big soft cushions on your feet. How cool is that? And you continue to walk. It's sort of like a bit squidgy, but not really. Like a sucking sound. It's like the jelly's trying to stick to your feet. But you continue walking. Up ahead, you see some buildings. Orange ones. Yellow ones. Purple ones. In fact, they are in every colour of the rainbow. It looks wonderful. So colourful and so bright. You see a little dog come out of one of the buildings. And he's bright purple. And when he walks, he wobbles. Oh my goodness me. You realise that the little dog is also made of jelly. You look around you and see other animals, also all made of jelly and all in different colours too. It's then that you see some people and yes, they too are made of jelly. Everyone is wobbling along. Some of them are carrying the shopping, also made of jelly. Some of them are drinking slushies also made of jelly. A bit strange, but okay. Some of them are eating sweets. Yes, that's right. Made of jelly. But every one of them is a different colour too. The colours around you are absolutely amazing. You wonder where on earth you are. Well, you're not on earth anymore. You are in Wobbly Jellyland. You see a big sign saying, Welcome, and we hope you have fun with us today. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wibble wobble. You see that the plants and the trees are made, yes, you've guessed it, jelly. Even the clouds in the sky are made of jelly. The whole place is made of jelly, everything. The flowers, the leaves and the trees. And you think this is a most wonderful place to be. Just then, a little boy and a girl walk up to you and say hello. They tell you that their names are Robin and Jessica. And they too wobble quite a lot, actually. They ask you if you would like to play with them. And they will show you all around Wobbly Jellyland. Well, of course you say yes. So off you go with Robin and Jessica to explore their homeland. They tell you that they have the most amazing play area where the swings are made of jelly. The climbing frame is made of jelly. The slide is made of jelly. But what their favourite thing of all is is the water slide and that too is made of jelly but the best bit they tell you is that the water is also made of jelly and you get to go whoosh right into it they tell you it's so much fun it's much better than sliding in water so for just a little while go and play with Robin and Jessica explore everything See what else they have that is also made of jelly. But don't forget to have a go on the water slide. Or should we say jelly slide? Go and have some fun and whoosh straight into the water. Thank you.
Wow, that was such good fun. So much fun that you think that even you are wobbling now. Wibble wobble on your legs. Robin and Jessica ask you if you'd like to sleep over with them in their house. Well, of course you do. So you go off to the wobbly yellow house, wibble wobbling as you walk behind them, where everything is also made of jelly, even the pictures on the walls, the flowers outside the house, the light bulbs also made of jelly. When you enter the house, they show you to your very own bedroom with the biggest and most wobbliest jelly bed you have ever seen. They're all a bit tired and you're a bit tired, so you all decide now's the time for bed. Robin and Jessica say goodnight to you and go off to their own bedrooms because they are really sleepy now too. And you get to sleep on a bed made of wobbly jelly. You climb up onto your bed and it's not easy because you keep slipping off the wobbly jelly. Eventually you make it and you lie down and your pillow is simply fantastic. So soft and so smooth and of course made of jelly. You think to yourself that you've seen some amazing things today. Very wobbly things and very colourful things and you have really, really enjoyed being here. But you do realise that you are feeling very sleepy. So you snuggle down even deeper on your big jelly bed with your big soft jelly pillow. Your eyes begin to feel heavy now and your eyelids are beginning to droop. But your body feels so peaceful, so relaxed, so calm, but very, very heavy now. You feel so happy and grateful to have met Robin and Jessica today. You like them very much. You've seen how the jelly people live. They all live so peacefully together, albeit very wobbly together. You have also seen how they all help each other and how kind they are to each other. And you think that kindness is a very wonderful thing. And you decide that from now on, you're going to be like the wobbly jelly people. You're going to be kind to everyone. You begin to drift deeper into sleep now. Deeper and deeper into the most wonderful night's sleep ever. So turn over onto your side and snuggle down in your wobbly jelly bed and you feel so safe and protected and you feel so very very happy and when you wake up in the morning you will feel completely refreshed and ready to begin the new day ahead and remember you can always come back to wobbly jellyland whenever you want and you can see Robin and Jessica once again. But now, just rest and just sleep. Night, night. Now imagine that you're walking on a beautiful beach with the most glorious white sand. It's so white it sparkles in the sunshine. And with each step you take, you feel more relaxed. You feel more calm. You feel more peaceful. It also feels like you're walking on air and you feel so happy. You look around you as you walk and you notice the beautiful big blue ocean and the sunlight's bouncing off it like a million tiny fairy lights. It looks so amazing, so dazzling. Then you look ahead of you and you see some shapes in the distance moving towards you. As they get closer, you see that they are actually unicorns 
heading your way. Six of them. How wonderful. Now you've seen unicorns before, but not like these ones. These ones are in two colours. Some of them are all blue and some of them are all pink. But all of them have amazing horns on the centre of their heads and each horn is a brilliant white colour with golden sparkles glittering all over them. Oh, and they all look so beautiful. They trot up to you and say hello. They ask what you're doing here. You tell them you are just having a peaceful, quiet walk along the shore. They ask if they can come with you. Well, of course, you would be delighted for them to come with you. So you take off your shoes and set off on your walk with the unicorns. One of the unicorns, a big blue one, tells you that all of the pink unicorns are girls and all of the blue unicorns are boys. He tells you that his name is Peter. He introduces you to the rest of the herd and he tells you that they are all brothers and sisters. The other two blue unicorns are called Philip and Robin. The pink unicorns are called Rebecca, Josephine and Lily. So you tell them your name too. He tells you that their golden horns are very special. He says they are very magical too and they can do so many things with them. He tells you that they can heal anyone who is poorly with their horns because they're so magical. He then tells you that you too can heal. He says all you have to do is send them positive thoughts to help them get better. But you must do this with your heart filled full of love. Peter says that if each and every one of us filled our hearts with love, we could probably heal our world with our thoughts because our thoughts are energy and they can travel a very, very long way. You continue your walk with the unicorns and they're all chatting too. They tell you that they live here on this wonderful beach and that they have a lovely big beach hut that they live in. And if you like, after your walk, they will take you to see it. Oh, yes please, you say. As you walk, you can feel the way the dry sand moves under your feet. So you try walking on your heels for a while, pressing them deep into the sand. Then you walk on your toes. And it feels so different. And as you look behind you, you see that your footprints have changed. How wonderful. You see some very large rocks as you walk and you notice the different colours they are. And you notice the different types of rocks there are. Some of the rocks look like they have crystals embedded in them. They are so sparkly and shiny. Robin, one of the blue unicorns, who is very gentle, says, why don't we all stop for a bit and have a little paddle in the beautiful sky blue ocean? Oh, yes, please, you say. So you all go in for a little paddle in the lovely water. You all splash each other with water. You even take a little swim together. So for a few moments, just play and swim and splash in the ocean with the unicorns. Have some fun together. Just you and them.
Well, that was fun. Now you all come out of the lovely cool ocean, all dripping wet, but the sun is so warm, it dries you instantly. Robin, the gentle blue unicorn, tells you that they have to go home now, as their mum and dad are making a barbecue for the dinner tonight. He asks you if you would like to come too. Well, who would say no to that? Certainly not you. So you all set off for the beach hut where the unicorns live. After a short walk, you come to the beach hut that they live in. It is beautiful. It's surrounded by the sand, but it also has a decking area that's filled with lots of flowers in tubs of all different sizes. Peter tells you that it's his mum's garden and she's forever planting new flowers. It's then you hear a voice saying, so there you all are, it's about time. The voice belongs to a wonderful pink unicorn with the most amazing and loving smile on her face. Then she notices you and she says, well, who is this you've brought to see us? Robin tells her your name. The lovely pink lady unicorn tells you that her name is Petulia and that she is their mum. She asks you if you'd like to stay for dinner. In fact, she says, would you like to have a sleepover with your new friends? Wow. Oh my, just wow. How wonderful is that? Of course, you say yes. There is a big table at the end of the deck with lots of chairs all around it. A bit further away on the sand is a very large blue unicorn with an apron on cooking food on a barbecue. He turns around and gives you a big grin to all of you and Petulia introduces you to him. Welcome, welcome, he says. My name is Frank. Nice to meet you. I hope you are hungry as I seem to have made an awful lot of food and I really don't want it to go to waste. So you all sit down at the table to have your meal. It's very noisy because everyone is chatting all at the same time. But this makes you smile and feel ever so happy to be here with these wonderful, friendly unicorns. You look around you, feeling so glad to be here. You look at the waves coming in and breaking on the shore. And you notice the way they smooth out the sand. You can see small shells and pebbles dotted all over it. So sit with your new friends for a while and enjoy your meal with them. Enjoy the stories about their lives together that they're going to tell you all about. And maybe you can tell them about your life too. But don't forget to enjoy your meal.
after you finish your meal, Frank, the unicorn's dad, gets out his guitar and plays a song for you all. And he has the most beautiful singing voice. But Julia's wife joins in with the singing too. And the way they harmonise together is simply pure music to your ears. It makes you feel uplifted and very happy. And you think if you knew the words, you would join in with the singing too. Their two voices together make your soul sing with joy. After the singing is finished, Petulia says it's now time for bed as the night sky is set in. You were having so much fun you didn't even notice that it had gone dark. She gets out the biggest bean bags you have ever seen and lays them down on the deck. Robin says that as you are their guest, you can pick one first. This is what you're going to be sleeping on. You will be sleeping on the deck with all the other unicorns sleeping in the beautiful, warm night air. So you pick your favourite bean bag and snuggle down. You don't need a blanket as it's lovely and warm. All the other unicorns snuggle down too on their beanbags. But Julia, their mum, lights lots of tiny candles. They make the beach hut look as if it's surrounded by stars. It's almost like you're sleeping in the sky. How amazing is that? Everyone says goodnight to each other and then it all goes quiet as you all settle down for the night. Your bean bag is very comfy. And you think about the day you've had and smile to yourself. You're so happy to have made new friends. They are so very kind and loving. But as you listen to the sounds of the waves gently lapping on the shore, you begin to feel your eyes closing. You are so grateful to be here with your new friends that you realise you really do have a wonderful life. Even if it does have its ups and downs, it really is a wonderful life. So for now, just listen to the rhythm of the waves as they gently begin to lull you into a beautiful, restful sleep. Just listen to the waves as you slide deeper and deeper into sleepiness, wonderful sleepiness. Your breathing is slowed and you feel so happy, so peaceful, so calm. And remember, you can come back and visit your new friends anytime you want to. Oh, your eyes are heavy, so you don't bother opening them now. You just drift into a wonderful sleep. You feel so tired. Beginning to drift deeper and deeper into a beautiful, beautiful sleep. So peaceful, so calm, so safe. Good night, sweet one. Now imagine a big old house somewhere. The sort of house that Grandma used to have. And you go inside it and take a little wander around. Slowly moving from room to room. And each room that you visit, you can feel yourself becoming more and more relaxed. Deeper and deeper. You can even recognise some of the furniture in those rooms too. And every time you step through a different doorway, your body becomes that little bit heavier and your movements become a little bit slower. You even yawn a little too but you feel ever so happy here. Now in that house, 
there's a staircase. And that staircase has ten steps. And you now find yourself at the very top of that staircase. And slowly, in a moment, you will begin to go down those steps. And with each step down, you become more relaxed, more calm, and more peaceful. And with every step you take, your feet will become so very, very heavy. And they will start to feel as if they have big weights attached to them. So begin the walk down the steps. Ten. 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 You step onto the first step down. Deeper and deeper into relaxation. Nine. Nine. Deeper still. Eight. Eight. Feeling so peaceful now. So calm. Seven. Seven. Down and down the steps you go. Deeper and deeper down. Six. Six. Feeling as if you are lying on a fleecy cloud. Just allowing yourself to drift and float. Five, five, deeper and deeper. So calm, so relaxed. And your feet feel so very heavy. Four, four so very peaceful, so very calm. Three, three, so very, very relaxed. And your arms feel so very heavy now. Two, two, two. One step left. And when you step off that last step, there is only zero. You go through the center of that zero right through the very middle, through and into a black space of emptiness. And your mind is completely relaxed now. You don't have to do anything at all. You don't have to think. You don't have to listen. You don't have to do anything. Just enjoy that beautiful feeling of deep, deep relaxation. And just allow that relaxation to travel through your whole body. Feel your body giving up all the tension of the day, all of your worries. You are so very relaxed now, so calm and so very, very peaceful. And you notice that starting at your feet you can feel a beautiful wave of relaxation and it flows upwards from the soles of your feet up through your ankles and you can feel it coming up through your lower legs up into your thighs and into your hips and it feels so warm, so gentle and with each breath you take, you go deeper and deeper into pure relaxation. 
and this wonderful feeling of peace travels through your tummy and into your lower back and it feels so nice and now you feel it as it flows up the rest of your back and into your shoulders and feel this gentle wave of relaxation enter your arms and it goes all the way down into your hands it even tingles as it enters your hands can you feel your hands tingling can you feel how warm and safe this beautiful wave is feel the deep relaxation and warmth enter into your neck and feel it travel all the way through your head and your face now just allow your entire body to rest and lay still You can feel this beautiful wave of relaxation moving so gently on your scalp like a gentle, warm and loving massage. Feel it relaxing your eyes. Feel the little muscles around your eyes gently start to soften. You are so very, very relaxed, so peaceful, so calm, and you are so safe. Just enjoy feeling so calm. Enjoy feeling so peaceful. And enjoy feeling so very, very relaxed. Now in your mind, say the words quietly to yourself. I am so sleepy now. So sleepy. Say it one more time. I am so sleepy now. So very sleepy. And you are so deeply, deeply tired now. And your body feels so heavy, but so very comfortable. And ever so gently, you start to fall asleep. And you start to drift off into the most wonderful dreams your dreams, whatever you want to dream about. And in the morning, a long time from now, you will find yourself waking up, feeling very bright and alert after having the most wonderful, peaceful sleep. But for now, just snuggle down into a comfortable position and sleep. <laughs>